So I was going to crack open a beer and sip it during this video, but it's 9 a.m. on a Monday, and I thought that was maybe pushing it. So I recently spent two weeks in Ireland, and not to perpetuate a stereotype or anything, but they know how to drink. They do it well. We are talking about the land of pubs every 10 feet. You could do a bar crawl and you'd be done in two blocks. A glorious beer heaven where they served me beers this large without having me sign a consent form. But most spectacularly of all, this is the home of Guinness, and that is my favorite beer. So, I mean, like, I might move there. Like, sorry, America. If you would do Guinness better, and I would stay. Let's start, of course, with the Guinness Storehouse. This is not just a brewery, okay? This is straight up Disneyland for Guinness lovers. It's seven stories tall. You learn about the ingredients and where they get the water, which is from the Wicklow Mountains. You learn about its rise to fame, and they teach you the perfect way to drink Guinness. Very simply, ladies and gentlemen, they use a very special technique. And I'm gonna teach you it here today. When you're tasting Guinness, you gotta breathe in through your nose and then take a drink and hold it one, two, three, and then breathe out. Mm. Okay, we gotta finish this. Great. There's even an entire floor on the marketing aspect of it. Like, why is a toucan the logo of Guinness? That makes no sense. And then there's a restaurant where, of course, they make things like fries with beer cheese and broccoli with beer cheese and a side of beer with more beer. And guess what? Everything on the menu is recommended to be accompanied by Guinness, astounding, shocking. And the food's incredible. And then you go up another story, you go to the top floor and there is this bar on top of Ireland. You get to see a 360 degree view of the entire city while drinking Guinness with a ton of other people also drinking Guinness. What? Frodo and Sam were here? Next, we have the Jameson Distillery, but not the one in Dublin. The real Jameson experience that you are looking for is in Middleton, County Cork. We toured a couple whiskey scotch distilleries in Scotland, and they were like tiny, and like, here's our little pot still, and it's like this big. This is me being a pot still. Here's my goose, my swan neck. That's what it's called right there. Do I look, do I look like a pot still? And then you go to Jameson and the pot still is bigger than my house. So this experience, they take you through the entire grounds and you're seeing the really old original buildings. Plus you're seeing like these giant state of the art facilities that they're currently making the Jameson in. Plus they have a micro distillery that you get to walk through where they haven't even produced anything ready for consumption yet. So that's like coming up, but I got to see it. Plus I always love hearing about how whiskey and scotch is made. I especially love um, hearing about uh, how the longer they age it, like the less liquid they get because the whiskey angels get to steal some. I like to think that when I die, I will become a whiskey angel and just be drunk all the time, fly sideways. So the next distillery that we toured was the Teeling Distillery. It is my favorite whiskey. Eve was our tour guide and she's amazing. I hope when you tour it that you get her. The thing I like about Teeling is that even though it's small, like relatively small, everything is so modern and state of the art. And get this, Teeling is the first Irish whiskey distillery to open in Dublin in over 125 years. And even though they're doing things in a modern way, they really care about their Irish traditions and their heritage. And they're doing things kind of the way they used to be done. Another great thing about this whiskey is I fully believe it can be either sipped or mixed into a cocktail. In fact, they gave us a cocktail called the Red Leg Rebellion. Sipping or mixing gets you a whiskey that can do both. Okay, so now that I've got the tours and the breweries and the distilleries out of the way, I'm gonna share with you a couple awesome bars and a couple awesome beers. First, let's start with Galway. You walk right down that main drag and pretty much almost instantly on your left, I think is uh, the King's Head. Not only is this an incredibly welcoming and friendly pub, it is the home of their King's Head Blood Red Ale. It's this creamy and delicious amber, and you know, I'm partial to an amber. And speaking of Galway, while you're there, you gotta try a Galway hooker. <laughs> not what it sounds like. Yeah, a hooker is a boat, not just a girl who actually wants to talk to you at the Palms. Okay, but let's drive up the coast and back to Dublin. The first bar I will recommend is the Brazen Head. I think it is officially the oldest pub in Ireland, in Dublin. I don't know, here's 
here's something I have a problem with. I swear, every pub we went to had some kind of sign on the outside that was like, Ireland's oldest pub, Dublin's oldest pub, the east coast of Ireland's oldest pub. Like, I feel like they all try to have some sort of claim to fame. Like, oh, Bono drinks here, so we're like the official Bono pub of Ireland. That's probably super mean and disrespectful, and Ireland probably is mad at me for that, but I, come on, guys. I live in the tourist capital of the world, okay? I know when they're trying to pull sh to get people in the door. Ooh, okay, another place in Dublin that we literally just stumbled into is a pub called Lanigan's. I just had to pee, but the sign on the door said toilets for customers only, so I'm like, uh-oh, gotta get a beer. So we walk in this pub and lining the walls and the ceiling are like, it's like horror memorabilia. There's like super scary dolls and toys and like horror masks and werewolves and vampires, like it's insane. And finally, this is the coolest one. And I honestly kind of feel like I'm revealing a secret, uh, but we went to a place that is called the Open Gate Brewery. It is the experimental side of Guinness and it is by reservation only. Honestly, it felt like some kind of stonecutter's secret society. We had our Uber car take us to the address and then we got out of the car and we're like where is it I where it's dark and rainy where are we gonna get murdered out here but then we found this door and there was a security guard with a clipboard and we had to give him our names and he's like all right here you go he hands us a bottle cap and then we enter this awesome bar and it's packed and on the wall there are all these crazy beers I mean beer that's only available until the one keg they made of it runs out as we were sitting at the bar they switched out like three different beers because people just drank it all the craziest one that I tried was a chocolate mint Stout? It was like a beer candy bar. It was amazing. Probably the coolest beer drinking experience of my life. So thank you for having me, Ireland, and Slancha! That's Irish Gaelic for cheers. That's important to know that. Also, it feels weird to not cheers with a Guinness. What time is it? It's probably at least 10, right? 10 a.m.? I can drink now. I'm gonna I'm drink now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because you know my channel, it's pretty awesome. You wanna be part of this.